already know what it is. Episode three with the real big three. The, the real big three. Already, it's the all in one podcast. We back at the end. Hey, and we are your host for today, my boy. Mm-hmm. Hey, we back at it. So you already know what it is. It's that boy John Dunn. To my right of me, I got that boy Ant. You already know what it is. Yeah, yeah. And to my left, I got that boy RC3. Hey, man, y'all go ahead. Let's get it popping. What's up with it? What's up with it? First and foremost, I want to say, whoever was watching the video that was talking about my ankle socks on the last episode, <laughs> y'all kiss my <laughs> First and foremost. Secondly... Uh, we want to give a special shout out to all everybody watching, man. All the subscribers, right on, all the support, right all the love we've been getting, man. We truly thank y'all because, you know, we could have did this without y'all. We try to get better. You know, we try to push as much as we can. And, yeah, we got a, we got a lot going on this week, man. Yeah, we got a lot. <laughs> let's let's, let's, let's jump straight into it. Let's, stuff to talk about, let's, let's get into get it. what happened 12 to 15 hours ago with this Chris Brown beef. Now, Chris, mm-hmm. came, he didn't, if you haven't heard the song yet, you missing that? Need to go spin that because <laughs> Chris was talking. Show sure. man, what y'all what y'all think about that song and like <laughs> how the he might, came at Quavo? The My Skin Brothers cutting up. Yeah, yeah, I ain't gonna lie, Drizzy and Chris. Twenty twenty four was a year for the light skins. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it sucks because we brown, we dark. <laughs> <laughs> now I ain't gonna lie, man. That boy Chris Brown, man, he's somebody that I always knew could like rap for real. Yeah, but hearing him in this bag. I don't think he ever dissed nobody on a rap like this before. I think this might be his first one. And yeah. I like this. He yeah. won and oh for sure. Yeah. 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 <laughs> he won and oh yeah. for right. sure. He was spazzing on Quavo, man. I'm excited to see if Quavo going to respond. I don't think he can. I don't think he can. I don't either. think he can either. But we gonna, I'm <laughs> as excited to see, man. <laughs> Boy. That's, that goes back into what you said last episode, bro. It's been to turn up outside. Oh, yeah. It's about to get hot out there. Yeah. Hot for the summertime, yeah. boy. Definitely. Ooh, I like hot. that Chris Brown joint, though, bro. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that. He, he, he was. He was talking about a lot of stuff, and he was talking yeah. about your lady when you was with him. Yeah, that's crazy. that's one of them. That ain't a subliminal diss. That's a direct shot. Yeah, yeah. you know what I'm he saying. It ain't no guessing everything. who you talking about. Nah, we know exactly yeah. who you talking about. He said Quavo multiple times. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. The only bar that was kind of crazy that stuck out to me the most was when he said like, "When Takeoff died, everybody wished it was you." I was like, "Yeah, I, I, didn't, I, I didn't want like, better than to die." <laughs> Yeah, that was one of them little. That was a yeah. gut shot. You yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying? that was a liver shot. That's yeah, some pressure. Yeah. That's so, some pressure. That was right, right, right there. Man. But yeah, that 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 was. Ooh, yeah, I didn't expect that boy from Snoop to you to go in like that. But goddamn, got bodied by a singing brother. Yeah, boy, he twist your top on that one, man. You, you got to snap back on that one. I don't think Quavo will respond just because social media killing him right now. You said you had a you had a topic on uh somebody need to shake back. Hey, Quavo, <laughs> you got to shake back. You got to shake back. I don't yeah, think he can. You got to shake back on that he can't one. rap. He can't. <laughs> no, uh-uh. He can't, but like, bro, I don't know. It's like me being a battle rapper, it's like whenever some, when you hear somebody shoot at you, it like motivates you, even though like that might not be your bag really. Mm-hmm. It motivates you. Well, at least that do for me. I don't know about him. You know what I'm saying? He might not be worried about the shit. I don't, I don't think he, man, I don't think he come from that. That type of cloth like that though. I don't think so either, man. Because the worst thing he said to Chris, and when he did respond to Chris, was you beat women and you do drugs. Right. But Chris was like, "Nigga, we seen it. We did you fighting on the elevator." It, it's and tough, I, man. It's tough. I'm excited. I hope he. I hope he respond, man. So we could, you know. He said the only it. drug I smoke is you. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I like that. I was like, yeah, he he sent his shots. Yeah. Hot shots, man. Hot shots yeah, at the man. boy. Brown, he did his thing with that one. Yeah, that was sure. crazy, you know. Other sure. other crazy things that's been going on. My boy Drizzy, you know what I'm saying? He didn't he didn't snap back. Another light skin nigga. <laughs> <laughs> he he really shook the world up with this. Yeah. I ain't hear that second that second song he came out with. Y'all was telling me about it, but mm-hmm. going off that first one though, that was crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. it's definitely two and right now. Uh <laughs> yeah, it's definitely two and I agree. Mm-hmm. I agree. Cause Kendrick's dish, it was nice, mm-hmm. but the shit that Drake, man, it's a different level. Yeah. yeah. Plus, like Kendrick, shit was kind of it was kind of subliminal. Yeah. You know, really like he man. never it wasn't directed. Yeah. Right. You know, we kind of knew who he was talking about, but it wasn't directed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Drake's this, it's no question who we talking about. He's mm-hmm. name dropping, like I'm name dropping on you, boy. Yeah. 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 I don't. That shit was weak, man. That shit was weak. That shit was weak. I don't care what Cole said. That dot shit was weak. 
fuck. Yeah. fuck. That blind was so hard. <laughs> that line was hard. Cause I ain't got a lot of drink. I don't think it was weak as fuck. <laughs> I think it was actually pretty good, uh, but it ain't that, better than that song. And my boy said, shut your, Metro, shut your whole ass up and make some drums, nigga. Yeah, Metro literally I can't said, do nothing but make ooh. drums. Metro gonna have to get on that booth. <laughs> I said, damn, dog. <laughs> Metro <laughs> ass can't rap. That nigga, man. I just see so many videos, people that came up with like, oh yeah, this Metro, Metro this, it is him making a beat. That shit's so funny to me. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only thing he can do That's is gonna make some do. damn drums. Yeah. Gotta get in that booth, man. My boy Drake was in there roasting my boys. Yeah. And it's crazy because I was like, man, like, you know, if you think about it, Drake ain't never lost a diss. He had Even when like the sauce walking and shit was going on. Well, who who he dissed before that? That back to back. Meek. That was Meek. It was Meek. That was his okay, favorite. Yeah, because Sauce Walker had a response to that. It I love meek. saying that. That's his favorite. Yeah, I knew you was waiting for an opportunity <laughs> to say that. We, we was in high school when that shit dropped. Was it high school or junior? Yeah, it was high school. It was high school. I was high school. No clue. Man, you talking about that shit was hard as hell. That man. shit hurt, bro. That hurt my that hurt my feelings, bro. Yeah, that was a song that was on the radio constantly. I think yeah. the only one people could say Drake lost was uh, Push that T. Pusha. Yeah, and that's just because he said he Yeah, just because he said his child. You know, that but, was the only yeah. one. Really but that shit wasn't even that hard anyways. He it wasn't. Said, it was forgettable. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was forgettable. So you had a child. I mean, like he he definitely uh yeah. he definitely undefeated. It ain't uh, too yeah. much people can say to Drake, man. Nah, can't nah. really talk numbers with him. Nah. Can't talk money with him for real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. As far as skill, he he's very high skill when it comes to that rapping. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, bro. It really ain't too much you can say to Drake. Now, the only thing people really say to him is that ghostwriting allegation, but. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, mean he do got say some, that he do got some ghost riders, but Cause we, he don't, he don't want to hear that. He don't but listen that. though, but listen, he, he don't want to hear that. A bro. couple snippets, even the little Yachty thing. <laughs> I'm glad you but said that. That doesn't mean it. That's not a ghost writer. That's not a ghost, that's not a school, ghost writer, bro. Yes, it is. I mean, it's a reference track. You know what I'm saying? So, so, so you mean tell me you gonna credit his whole career to little Yachty? Lil Yachty, the one who did the song before he did. Okay, that that one song. Okay, that one song. Just like that other nigga. What's his name? The other nigga from that, if you're reading this, is too late shit. Where is he at? Still, though, bro, what you talking about? Like, Drake I had mean, songs before that album. Well, he was snapping. He got songs before that. If you go listen to his first mixtape, The Comeback Season, he's rapping. Okay, so this brings uh, me to my next topic. Go ahead, man. Cook, so, cook this nigga, so man. So do you think, he's the, you think he's the greatest rapper of all time? I think he's the greatest <laughs> artist of all time. Okay, I was about to say. The greatest like, rapper, I'm going to say Wayne. Okay, because I was like, how can you say the greatest artist if you have a ghostwriter? And then how artist? can you say the greatest artist? I mean, how can you say that and he still has a ghostwriter? You act like he got a ghostwriter for every song he's ever created. He and probably that, do. You know that that takes away from your credibility, though. But he's not going in there saying I'm the greatest rapper. He's saying I'm the goat. He the best. Yeah, the goat. The goat can mean a lot of things. The goat rapper, goat, goat. artist, goat. Exactly. So you putting yourself in that category, man. These niggas you can't. Know, I, these you niggas can't. Know so that, okay, 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 okay. So you think anybody helped Drake on that that diss to Kendrick? Honestly, we don't know. We don't know. If he did, he he put niggas I'm, credits though. He yeah. gave credits to niggas. I'm not saying that he had help because I like that shit. That shit was fire. <laughs> yeah. That shit was fire. But like he has, you know what I'm saying? It's been proven that he's had some help. But them are songs though, like just hit songs. This them is a hit songs, song. They make what? This is a hit song. He didn't. I don't think nobody helped him write that. He went in the booth and he wrote. His How do you down. know that? How do you know he had somebody write it? That's what I'm saying. We don't know. Yeah, that's what I'm But the other niggas that helped him. It was. It came to light. It's just the fact that it's in question is what kind of takes. Man, Drake the goat, man. List. Fuck all that shit, y'all niggas talking. <laughs> I ain't trying to hear that shit. Man. I feel you, bro. You got a I great like team. Hey, who your favorite artist right now? Hey, it's still cold. Well, call a bitch. Saying. Speaking, Speaking of, of bitch. Bitch. yeah, let's get into it. <laughs> it's still cold. Call a little. Forever. Call a punk, man. Forever. How you gonna diss somebody and then go apologize and then go get on the song with the the niggas that was dissing y'all? So well, he ain't get on something. Well, we don't know if that was prior to the I apology. I don't give a damn. You ain't got to clear it. But I'm just saying, we don't know if that was prior to apology or after. You know what I'm saying? So don't clear it. <clears throat> and then again. You got to go step by step with it, though. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's well, go step by step. Oh, yeah, break it down. Come on. Because Kendrick shot at him, mm-hmm. right? Fuck the big three. It's just big me. Mm-hmm. Cole shot back. That seven minute drill. That shit was fire. That shit was hard. That, that shit was fire, bro. Was so, hard. like, I'm giving Cole some kudos for that. Yeah, me too. But just the fact that he stood down. Shortly after, I don't like that, man. I, I, it wasn't a good look. I under, like, I'm not going to say I understood it. But with Cole, y'all know he's like on some real positive. He's on a positive vibe now. You know what I'm saying? He yes. Is. And 
I just wish he wouldn't have stood down, bro, because at the end of the day, it's rap. I'm going to call a timeout on that play real quick. What's just because you just said he was on some positive shit. But if you go back a couple months ago mm-hmm. on that song with Dirk, you mm-hmm. said, Dirk, you ever told me you've been on some positive shit? Lately, I just want to show up and body some shit. So apparently, he ain't been on no positive shit. Okay, okay. So I like for him that to say that, right there. That so for him to say that and then go okay. some months later backtrack. Come yeah. on, bro. Yeah, he lost some points for me with that. He lost some That's, points. Man, hell yeah, you can't do that. Just leave it at the song. Dude. Ain't nobody finna fight you. I, I didn't like that he did it. Ain't nobody finna shoot you, bro. I didn't like that shit, bro. I, I didn't. It I wasn't a good look, man. Yeah, I didn't yeah, like I, it either. I didn't like it. It wasn't a good look, but it was like. I mean, I'm thinking that, you know, he's looking forward. Like, he's looking past it, you know. That's what I was thinking the whole time. Stand on that shit, man. Well, I'm just like, yeah, he he let Nas down. Well, you you going to diss somebody? Like, you wrote the shit. Yeah. So that, you can't say, like, I didn't mean it. You wrote the <laughs> shit. Like, stand yeah, on it, bro. bro. Ain't nothing going to happen to you. Bro, it's, a it's a rap. It's a rap beef, bro. It's rap beef. It's Kendrick. It's Kendrick, bro. Like, say he wears size seven. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, hey, I say Kendrick hey, soft, but I mean, up. fuck, he a fucking little nigga for real. Bro, he ain't finna do nothing to you, man. But like, man, he lost yeah. some points with me with that. I ain't. Yeah, I get y'all that. He did lose some points with me on that one. But I mean, he's still a great artist, though. I can't take nothing away that from that. This, bro, it was fire, bro. Man, this like, was hot. Bro, he should have let that shit live. Yeah, he should have let it live, bro. Yeah, cause shit, fuck it, fuck <laughs> it. <laughs> what's, what's fuck it, bro? You, look? you see what Drake did? You see what Chris Brown did? It's Even Rick one. Ross with his little trash ass shit. <laughs> <laughs> that shit. Yo, them it's niggas trash. is petty, bro. That shit's trash. Hell. Them niggas funny. Them niggas is petty. You know, a nigga, you, know you ain't got shit. nothing when you you say this nigga got a BBL nose job. Yeah, yeah. And calling him a white boy. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's my whole thing that's with funny, shit. You seen the pictures, though? A Drake? I, I, yeah. I seen the pictures. It kind of looked like you got some shit done, though. I mean, but hell, they rich. I don't think he did. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't give a fuck, but I don't give a fuck. It's a like nigga it. nose. But the pictures did kind of look like you had some shit done to it. Man. Y'all, y'all let us know in the comments y'all think Drake got a nose job. <laughs> if he did, I don't give a I mean, but I, the like whole, I said, I give a fuck. The whole Rick Ross and Drake thing is just lame as hell to me because y'all yeah. up here arguing about like who crib is bigger. Who crib bigger? Both of y'all shit's big like, as hell. Stupid shit. Who gives a fuck? Stupid I spent shit. 30, you got a $37 million house. Yeah, bro. Like, Stupid nigga, shit. who gives a fuck? Nigga, we broke. Hell shit. Crazy, y'all bro. about some real shit. And I thought they was cool. They make some good music together. Yeah, that Lemon they Pepper of Freestyle was hot. They got a history of making good music together, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, Stay Scheming. Yeah, Ashton bro. Martin Music. Drake gave Rick all his, all his biggest Look, hits, bro, man. you can't do that because you can do it the other way, too. You no, can't. You can't. You no, can't. the fuck you, you can't. can't. You can't, but <laughs> what I'm saying is Ross is partially responsible for a few of Drake's hits, too. Give me a couple. Ones. Not all of them. Give me a couple. The, the, fuck, the couple he just said. Okay. Them Rick songs, though. Or like DJ Khaled's or some shit. They still went up there though. Like, I feel what you're saying. I promise, I feel what you're saying. Man. But Ross, his catalog ain't just like light though. But it ain't. It, it ain't Drake's. It, it ain't Drake's. It, he wouldn't top the charts if it wasn't for Jersey. <laughs> mm, and I'm that's like, what a lot of these. I'm gonna have to fact man, check that. The weekend. Well, I ain't gonna say the weekend. Weekend end up blowing up on his own. But yeah, motherfucking uh, Super Bowl. Rick Ross, goddamn Future. I don't want to hear none of this shit. But Future's number one hits came from Drake. Nah, I ain't gonna say all that now, man. Ain't gonna say all that. Now. They said they said future's way bigger than Atlanta than most. That's artists. one fucking. That's a city. That ain't even a state. Okay, that's I'm, a city. Okay. Well, you gotta understand that. Like, you that's the case. Okay. Drake bigger in Houston than everybody in Houston. Oh hell no, nah, man. You kind of is, bro. You kind of is here. You gotta understand, bro. This year at the rodeo, you know, Bun B usually had the biggest show. You see who he had headlining that bitch. Drake is like a mayor in Houston, even though he ain't even from out here. You see them ticket prices Man. jump when they announced he was coming? That's because the boy just now moved to Houston. What you, that he, was before he this. He been shouting out Houston forever. Forever. I'm mean, like, because he just now moved to Houston. But he, he, he damn near a Houston native. No. Hell no. Bro. Almost. He like, bro. No. You, 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 you don't know. Almost. You don't, you don't I ain't going to say Houston native, no, but almost. No. Jamal, no, you know this shit. You know this shit, No, too. You I do not. <laughs> no, I do not. So you been telling me. Drake, Drake got Who more. was responsible for the uh, saying Houston, Atlanta, Vegas? That one little ass take. Bro, you know how many people say well, that? I wouldn't, I wouldn't, well, I wouldn't we, agree with that one. That wasn't, <laughs> I, I'm staying, I'm staying down. I would say that. I would say that. I would say that. I would still, say like, that. November 18th? Yeah, bro. Like, that's a staple in Houston. Even though it was June 27th. But it was, I about to say, it was June 27th Drake, before that. Drake took it to a whole another level. No, he didn't, bro. Man, you, bro, you crazy as hell. June 27th was popping in Houston. Yes, but Drake took it worldwide with November 18th. 
You know that. That's because he's a global artist, bro. And he's out here in Houston a lot. Okay, but that don't make him a historian. He can say whatever the fuck he wants. <laughs> <laughs> he can say him a historian just because he's a global name. But he bigger than any artist in Houston. Like, as far even if we just talk about repping Houston, he rapped Houston more than the nigga. He rapped Houston more than Travis Scott. I ain't even know Travis Scott was really from Houston until like six, seven years ago type shit for real. So when he dropped Houston Fornication, you did not know that boy was from Houston. He came out with that five, six years ago. So you- Astro World. Travis Scott been making music for like since like 2012, 2013. I don't know if that's like all the way true. Y'all can fact check that. But Travis Scott been making music forever. Niggas ain't know he was from Houston. I thought that when he came out with Mama Sita with goddamn Rich Homie Kwan and them. I thought he was from Atlanta. Oh, goddamn. You ain't know he was from Houston I did either. too. You said Houston Fortification. That shit was on Astro World, which came out in 2016, 2017. I'm thinking that's what you talking about because you said a couple years ago. You said about five years ago. Yeah. But you talking about but he been a rapping decade be- ago. But he been rapping before that, though. I'm saying I didn't know he was from Houston. He been rapping this long. I didn't know he was from Houston until like six, seven years ago. This nigga. I ain't like, know he's from Houston either. You See, didn't? Oh didn't. my god! Until, he like, don't even know he's from Houston. Came out. Yes, I do. Wait, he don't even know where he cl- where he claimed. What he claimed? Yeah, what part of Houston? Y'all think I'm just gonna learn now? You just said up. yeah. Nah, don't look it up. Usually, said, Houston niggas like have a specific part that they yeah. They gonna claim north side, south side, third Most world, city, fifth shit like that. Let me look it up. Beaumont. <laughs> Let, me, Let me look it up. Yeah, nah, I, don't look I, it I ain't gonna lie. I didn't know Travis Scott was from Houston until I I knew Travis Scott was from Houston, but I know where he from though. That nigga ain't from nowhere, man. I think you don't claim the city like that. Then they claim uh, Atlanta more. Drake do represent Houston a lot, though. Like Bro, he, he, yeah. I, I, I guarantee every, at least one song on Drake album is like mm-hmm. kind of referencing Houston. Mm-hmm. More than any one of your niggas. You know how I spin in a show. Bro, <laughs> N2D was like my favorite, one of my that favorite Drake so songs hard. ever. That shit was fire. That was probably one of my favorites on that album. Yeah, that, that's definitely like my top five Drake songs. But... Bro, come on now, you looking yeah. you looking too long. Travis ain't yeah, from, man. He, you should, yeah, he yeah, ain't repping. Right, he right. ain't repping the you city, right, man. You right, you right, you right. I ain't about to even get into it. Yeah, bro, nigga, nigga don't claim the city, man. Yeah, they said this nigga went to he went to the University of San Antonio. That's some crazy ass shit. Yeah, <clears> but man. that's beside the point, though, man. Yeah. This beef shit, I like it, man. I like it too. I like it, bro. Like it's get, it's really bringing out the competitiveness again. Yeah, you know, I really, I really, I really enjoy this, man. Yeah. I'm ready to see if Quavo gonna respond. I want to see if Kendrick going to respond that's, to Cole and Drake for real. Yeah, I know he going to talk dirty to Cole. You know, like, I made you, like, quit and shit like that. I know bro, he's going to say He got all the like ammunition. Yeah, I know he's Cole, yeah. 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 So, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what he's going to say. I wish Cole wouldn't have did that. But I'm ready to see these responses, man, if they even come out. What y'all feel about as far as, like, Drake and Rosé? Like, how y'all just look at that man, bitch? Ross, <laughs> yeah, Ross need to just stand down at this point. Both of them really need to chill the fuck out with each other, bro. It's just that shit just funny. It's funny as hell. But like, Ross can't rap with Drake. Hell nah. Ross can't rap with Drake. I'm just man. I mean, I don't know for sure, but where was this any Ross when you was like beefing with 50? I ain't see you this active when 50 was on your ass. That's cause niggas got picks, bro. Niggas got picks. They know not to fuck with 50. Exactly. <laughs> but that <laughs> the shit. They know not to fuck with 50. No, you can't rap with no Drizzy? Nah, he can't, bro. Come he on, can't, man. man. He can't. That's yeah. why they good together because they mesh together well, like Rick Ross don't really got no flow pockets like Drake got. Nah, like, nah. Drake got his own flow. Like that new shit with them uh with uh Pac and Snoop. Mm-hmm. He kind of had them rapping in his flow. Yeah. That shit was fire. That shit was hot. I gotta listen to that. I ain't, that shit good. I ain't, I ain't listen that shit to it. Good. It's tough, man. It's yeah. tough. But the whole situation <laughs> is just dry. It's shit, dry. It's the that fuck. shit funny though. I ain't gonna lie. It is funny. <laughs> it is funny. BBL Drake. BBL Drake. How can you call him a BBL if he got a nose job though? He He's just saying, saying he had shit. some surgery. He done. just saying shit. That's some like crazy. Shit. Then they like you said, they on some rich nigga shit. Yeah. Your mansion thirty seven million, mine eighty eight. First of all, that's a lot of damn money on a house. <laughs> mm hmm. Who gives a fuck? Yeah, bro. We can't relate. Shit, we can't yeah, relate to that. I don't think half them. Of, nigga, it's ninety percent of America can't relate to that shit. Like either one of their yeah, houses, yeah. bro. Like even if theirs cost more, you can't look at your shit and be like, damn, I'm like, this shit ain't big enough. <laughs> yeah, bro. I'm sure you got like 20 bedrooms on, my in that nigga. motherfucker. Y'all niggas is stupid. Bro. Y'all argued over some dumb shit. That shit. big enough. <laughs> Y'all argued over some dumb shit. I ain't gonna lie, that nigga. Ross was funny. That nigga, I seen the like video recently. He was like, uh, they was built. They was tearing out another house or something. 
He was like, you could be my neighbor if you want to. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> it's in the upwards of 36 million. I was like, bro, that's a lot of That's damn. a lot of money, bro. Yeah, that's uh, even gross, man. But that shit yeah. funny, though. It's funny. I think it's good for the culture, though. I think so, too, man. I think so, too. I wonder too. who else beefing. Who else beefing? That's what I'm saying. I wonder who, like, because it seems like niggas is just taking this opportunity to shoot at niggas, bro. It's oh, even battle rappers making diss tracks now. Like, it seems like this energy is, like, like bleeding over into other industries. Yeah. And I kind of miss this shit because everybody was just linking up now. Everybody was just linking up, being mm-hmm. cool with everybody and shit. I, don't, I ain't like that shit. Mm-hmm. That shit was dry as fuck anyway. Because we weren't getting no good music. That's when all this sexy red and Glorilla shit starting to come out. Hold on now. The niggas was. Glorilla and them hot. <laughs> yeah, they running shit. Like, now. hey, I don't give a damn. What no, shit. I don't know. What no, no niggas say? You cannot sit here and listen to that music and say it's not hard. You ain't got to jam it and sing it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But as far as like the music. And yeah, they running shit, bro. That shit be hard. They running Glow, shit. Sexy just know how to make anthems. Lotto. Lotto. You know what I'm saying? Lotto really be, She always popping her shit. I don't, I don't be listening to Lotto. Lotto can rap, bro. Lotto can really rap. She can rap. Mm-hmm. Check out Double XL um, Cypher. I done checked it out. That, I still man. don't think she can rap. She, she, the, be, she, she was the best rap. out of all of them. Yeah. It's just. It's just. You just a sexist I, ass nigga. No, nah, cause when I <laughs> when I hear when I hear women rap, and I, maybe I am being sexist, but like when I hear women rap, it's like more of a, like a how I feel toward. You ever seen like Notorious, like Biggie? I like when women rap sexy. I don't like when women um, get all grimy and shit. You. you know what I'm saying? That's like it's like what goddamn. You, you know, like you remember how Biggie said to. Um, Look, Cam in the movie. No, I'm saying like, but like, give me an example of rapping sexy. <laughs> <laughs> like, what does that mean? <laughs> don't give him no example. No, nah, give bro. me an example. No, you want to rap? What you want? What you want to rap about, bro? You got a rapper that they told or whatever. But it's like, <laughs> on, don't like um, bro. <laughs> I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to figure something out. Like, like with the Glorilla shit. Mm-hmm. Like when she said, uh. Slapping rap bitches, <laughs> bell hole. That's hard. Stumping rap bitches up in some square toes. That's hard. Yeah, you know I I like that shit. Two tone cardio, master nails, hoe. That's what they be like. like I I yeah. like I like that sexy shit. Like you know you referencing like how you look and shit like that. I don't like a like female rappers talking about like beating niggas up. Yeah, like shooting like, niggas. And yeah, shit. you know what I'm saying. None of them rap like that. Uh, you don't, you'll find some bars of some shit need, like that. They, some they talking like about that. how good they Punani is, how much money they got, how niggas is tricking on them. <laughs> they ain't rapping about slapping no nigga and shooting a nigga. What you, who are you listening to? Bro, you going to find some bars. You'll find that, some yeah. bars that a lot of be saying and be like, damn. Like, They'll ooh. drop it sometime. It might not be the main gist of the song, but you going to find some shit in there. I ain't going to lie. I ain't never heard a lot of say she'll slap a nigga. You got to be <laughs> at your rabbit ass mind as a female thinking you just go rap and say, I'm going to slap a nigga. I shoot niggas. Not even niggas though. It's just like they could talk. They could be talking about girls. Yeah, but they like, just talk about being yeah. violent. You know? But that's the same thing as a nigga saying, "I'm a spin the block on this nigga." Well, it's I'm different not, coming I'm from not a dude. I'm attracted to niggas. I'm attracted to females. Yeah. So it's a I, <laughs> okay, I, I agree with that. <laughs> but still though, they're not just saying that all the time though. <laughs> niggas all the time talk about spitting on niggas. Yeah. Yeah, I mean I, that's cool. Sometimes we want to see know that, that shit. Got so popular. Spinning. Yeah, like that type of music. That drill shit. But yeah, like women, women, they running shit, bro. They running shit. As far as like music, bro, they running shit for real. Yeah, yeah. There ain't too many Just hits that dudes put out that like nah, blow Summer up Walking like that. them, Summer, SZA. Don't say no High Spice. Hell no. Don't say that. I ain't say no dick. Bro, that when the last like song that a dude came out with that was like, that blew up for real? Like a song. A dude? Yeah. I mean, it's that's, what I, that's my point though. But like Glorilla, that yeah glow, that get it sexy. You know, Lotto with Big Mama. Like, these women running shit, bro. Yeah, they, they women running I shit. I feel that. Shit, I can feel you when you say that. These women running shit. Speaking of women, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the WNBA draft was last week. Um, mm-hmm. And one thing that was really controversial, which I kind of knew this was going to happen, we kind of touched on this last episode, was Kaylin Clark's contract. And being that she's the number one pick, her contract, well, her first year, she'll be making $76,535. Mm-hmm. How y'all feel about that, man? How y'all feel about that? Well, I did some research on it, and they still get their NIL deals. Yeah, yeah, they definitely get them endorsements. It just turns into endorsement. It's just the word different. Okay, well, they still get the endorsement, so right. don't that boost their... It doesn't boost their contract, but it boosts their income for sure. Okay. Yeah. You know, it's just like a coming from a different place. Okay. That's just her, though. Her and Reese, for real, and them other girls within the top ten, I don't <clears> think they... 
I ain't seen them in no damn commercial. They got them, but they ain't in the big commercials. Yeah, though, they ain't in the like big that. commercials. Like Camilla got a wing stop, but that's, that's it. the uh, that's that big six seven one. Uh huh. Yeah. The one that's from uh, South Carolina. Carolina. Yeah, yeah, South Carolina. Mm-hmm. And that's, that's the only one. I ain't gonna lie. As far as as far as the draft alone, before I touch on like the women's contract, uh, what's the teenage Chicago Sky? Yeah, they drafted her and injuries. Mm-hmm. That's a good pickups. Like, yeah, damn. Some good pickups right there. Ain't nobody ever get no rebound over them too. Some good pickups, man. But uh, as far as the contracts, it sucks. Cause I mean, that's yeah. Caitlin too. It's like, so you can just imagine what somebody else getting that's yeah, not of her caliber. Yeah. yeah, that's what right. I was thinking too. Yeah, man, it's just crazy. It's crazy, bro. It, and like, I think that after this year, it's we'll see like a grand scheme of how much shit should change as far as like we gonna see how much revenue this rookie class bringing in. Then mm-hmm. we can say, okay, they deserve more than this. Because now, I think their main argument is that they're not generating a lot of bread. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So now with this, like, because this class is kind of responsible for changing the climate of women's basketball for real. So okay, will, they, will, will this class, like, start making y'all watch women's basketball a lot more? I mean, shit, they I did in college. So, I mean, when they go to the pros, you got to show them games and shit. It could. It could yeah. be okay. to that. If they show up, I, I possibly will watch them uh, a couple of the games because – yeah, them girls are good. I want to see Cordosa and um, Asia Wilson go at it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That'd, That'd be, be good. That'd be a good That'd be nice. right there. I'd right. love to see that shit. Yeah, you feel <laughs> me? Like, it's going to be some good matchups with them pros. Like, I think that, um, I think this year, uh, the viewership will go up for sure. I, I think, think so. so, too. I think so. And I'm I'm glad that, I'm, I'm happy that it's happening. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I think they deserve it. <laughs> for deserve sure. Get, definitely way more than what they get paid, because, yeah. yeah. That, that shit horrible. It's crazy, man. It's crazy to think about. Yeah. But like, yeah, y'all see my shirt, man. Juju Watkins. That's hey, bro. I see it on her, bro. Nah, I she, see it on her. She, she like that. She, yeah, I see she it on her, that. man. Like I, I watched her uh, final four game, man, and like it's the way she moved with it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You could tell she grew up playing in the park yeah. or with her brothers and mm-hmm. shit like that, or whoever would dudes in the area. But like, I see it on her, bro. I she see it on. Her. She develop a little more. She definitely got. She, bro, she tight. She only a freshman. She only a freshman. That's the that's the crazy part. Yeah, she 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 got it. Bro, she, she tighten that shit up a little bit, like critique it, you know, uh, fine tune it. Man, she gonna be she gonna be something different, bro. Nah, yeah, she got it. She got I it. I see it on her. I see it on her, man. I see it on her. But and I, she I had the most points as a freshman. So think, yeah, she tough. I think it's heading in the right the right direction as far as a women, man. Like you said, love to see it, man, because they deserve it. They do, Just bro. As much, I ain't gonna say they. You know what I'm saying. Needs like an NBA four years three fifty, but mm-hmm. you know, say so you can give them like four, five, ten. Yeah. Yeah. Money. yeah. Yeah, man. You get that, man. It just people gotta watch. People Somebody's gotta watch. contract gotta be worth for him. Yeah, man. So just, Somebody, bro. Mm-hmm. None of their contracts are worth a million right now. None of them. But you got bum niggas in the NBA making like twenty mil. Yeah, yeah. Like, what's, bro, what's that boy I don't name? even want to talk shit about cuz, bro, but like Dylan Brooks get he got four years, eighty million. Yeah, nigga. Dylan Brooks, bro. For the Houston Rockets. You know, he make more than, like, he make more than Russ. For the Houston Rockets, though? For the Houston Rockets. Yeah. He cold. Oh, you just being on some bullshit. I know, bullshit. He said he cold. No, bullshit. Nah, that's not even the worst case, but, like, it's really bum niggas in the league. Well, I understand they generate more money or whatever. That's what I'm saying. Like, I really hope that they viewership go up this year. I mm-hmm. really hope it do. Cause they they it. need more bread, bro. That shit not cool. I think it will. It's not it cool, will. man. But. Yeah. Cool. So, um, y'all want to uh, y'all want to jump into these questions? Pop them. Hold on, hold on. Right, I, got, I got another thing I want to talk about. Right, let's, let's I don't know if y'all seen this shit, but uh, Casanet, the streamer, you know what I'm saying? Twitch streamer. <laughs> oh, uh, he's been kind of going kind of crazy with this OnlyFans girl. Uh, supposedly, they had some horizontal activities. And uh, he paid. So, you can say <laughs> <laughs> so horizontal activities, and supposedly he's supposed to pay her like I don't know how much the money was, but I'm gonna say like five thousand, ten thousand, something like that. And I don't know if he did, but she was like saying he didn't type shit, and she was trying to expose him this, that, and third. And he went on this whole rant talking about he finna sue her ass mm-hmm. and. Cause she broke the <clears throat> NDA or you know all that type of shit. So, mm-hmm. what you feel on like? Basically, the question is, the nigga paying for the coochie. <laughs> that's, that's really the moral of the story. That's that's my <laughs> issue, like, nigga. 
Yeah. Well, the story. That's you, where the whole violation started. Yeah, bro. Because you, you know what I'm saying. I feel like you, you, you big enough to. Uh, you ain't got to do that, bro. <clears throat> Don't. You know what I'm saying. You, Don't, man. Now, if you want to know, what I'm saying. <laughs> you want to tip her because <laughs> she did she did a good job or whatever. You know what I'm saying? You can slide a little money and go shopping or something, but paying you cash, like, I'm giving you this to do this, is crazy. Yeah, bro. Yeah, it, prostitution is crazy nowadays, bro. Yeah. And they don't want to say that, like, that's what it is, but that's what it is, if we be honest. Like, yeah, because she over here definition, talking. bro. Yeah. She's paying for a service. Yeah. Yeah, okay. She, she but, over here talking, like, she talking big shit, like, she just talking shit about the nigga, but. She don't understand. She didn't. She probably didn't read that damn contract she signed. If she signed something, apparently she did because uh, he saying he gonna sue her for violating the D, uh, NDA. Yeah. Apparently she signed something. She didn't read that shit. I see. Yeah, I'm not a monkey ass. Because if you shit. like, bro, you <laughs> know if you violate that, you finna come off some bread, or yeah. like you gonna get sued for sure. But you still paying for the coochie though, bro. Yeah, both of them are fucked up. Like, yeah, cause I'm gonna say you a prostitute. But, like, she yeah. over here talking like she's not a prostitute. Yeah, like, like this is let's answer that question first. You a prostitute, and then he paid for it. That's that's what I don't be getting. Like, they just they 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 want to like promote that. Like, they think that it's good for them to expose this person because they paid for coochie. Mm-hmm. That don't make you look good. Yeah, that don't make you look good at all. That doesn't make you like big. Yeah, yeah. you ain't run me my money. You you did it up. Bitch, you got paid the fuck. Exactly, bro. <laughs> that's crazy. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. I've been. Mean, that's just kind of the same situation that happened with Zion. Oh yeah, Zion was on some shit, boy. Yeah, and that was why she got mad because apparently he didn't pay her for something. I think she wanted to be in a relationship with that nigga though, because like <laughs> that, that bitch wasn't even bad though. Who? That, that bitch. The one the was Zion. Oh yeah, nah, that mother. She's horrible, but you know what I'm saying. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, like, man, like me personally, if you go if you go do that, bro, like if you go do that, me <laughs> me, me personally, bro, you know what I'm saying? This is if like I'm single, all this other stuff, and I got the funds, all this stuff. If you gonna do that, bro, go go for the top ones. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna pay for it. The professionals. Yeah, go 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 get Tiana Trump. Trump. <laughs> yeah. Go go, go get uh I can't Those think of the other stars, man. but not yeah. the ones on the come up. Yeah, bro, we'll get the higher ups. Cause he make bread for us. It ain't like you can't afford it. Yeah, if you go do it, I mean, yeah, yeah, that shit whack to even think, man. It's yeah. definitely whack. Cause like, but I seen this one female on TikTok say like, really, you really see just how lame a lot of them famous people is. Cause growing up, you ain't never no get no girls like that. So now you got money, yeah. You can tell they ain't never yeah. really got nothing. Mm-hmm. Just the way out there, how they acting for her. Yeah, man. But you can tell. <sighs> Which is best for you, Kai? These niggas out here got to tighten up, bro. Yeah, that's definitely. another one. That's yeah. That's <laughs> another one. Right niggas got to tighten up. Got to tighten up. Man. Gotta tighten yeah. up. Yeah. We need to hit. Gotta Actually, we might. Up. We might can come up with that little segment. Yeah, we're talking cool. about. It's three of them. We gotta start we telling niggas. We gonna discuss that. Yeah. <laughs> we gonna yeah, tighten up. That the next business meeting. Yeah, I'm about to say. Yeah, yeah. Just like doggy of the day. Yeah, tighten up. Tighten the hell up. Gotta tighten up. Casting that. You gotta tighten up, bro. Yeah, that's like no. Where's his uncles and his grandpas and shit like that? Like you know, somebody had to put them on game, bro. That's what be that's what be the issue with a lot of these cornball ass niggas. Like they don't be having nobody put them on game for real. Yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah. Or the niggas that do supposed to put them on game, they don't be worried about it. They just be worried yeah, about bro. trying to get a dollar off of them and shit. Man, paying five thousand dollars for like <clears throat> at the most an hour, maybe even like two. It's crazy to me. First it's of crazy, all, right? Because what you gonna do? Like you gonna do afterwards? That's what, you, yeah. <laughs> what you gonna do afterwards? Like a like. How long the session gonna be? Uh, um, what the fuck y'all gonna do afterwards? Y'all just gonna talk? Like at this lot. point, she just running up a check. I think this shit probably it's probably um get out. It's probably set up like a menu on some shit. He uh, said menu. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably set up like a menu. You got a get a number three. <laughs> <laughs> get a number, three. Get a number three with a side of. <laughs> Hell yeah, that shit Hell wild, no, bro. Be crazy man. That it shit is, is wild, bro. But yeah, Kai, you better than that, man. You ain't got to tighten that, up, man. man. I know and whoever the girl is, too, she got to tighten up, too. She need her daddy. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> I ain't going to say she ain't got her daddy, man, but that's what it seems like. Your daddy ain't going to let you yeah, sell man. no Poonani like that or uncle or somebody. You know somebody, bro. But somebody, man. That, that sh- that's horrible, though. That's how to that's see tough. what y'all thought about that. That that's shit tough, crazy, man. Playing for pussy is crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. 2024. If you doing that's that, bro, you got to tighten up, man. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, I'm telling up. you personally, if you doing that, tighten up, bro. Tighten the hell up, please. That's not <laughs> cool, man. Yeah, right, you ain't got so, no game. You ain't got no game. <clears throat> so look, man. So I came up with a name for it. It's gonna be like, what we, it's gonna be called. What we doing? So okay. like in future episodes, we are gonna be in the middle of something. Hey, hey. We doing okay. and then it's time to jump in that segment. All right, okay. all right cool. What's okay. up? What's up? All right, so, so we look, got this episode. Got a couple bro. questions for you, man. Make sure y'all let us know y'all answers in the comments too. Please want to want to get some interaction. You know what I'm saying? See how y'all feeling too. Wait before you start, because last time we had we had some good feedback we off did. of a question that we had. This nigga was calling me for a fucking how long has it been since we've been like what three weeks. Yeah, something like that. You've been calling me for the last three weeks trying to argue this shit about that Migos and Young you Money that. shit. But but the thing is, though, <laughs> everybody in the fucking comment section told you that was Young Money. Everybody that we <laughs> talked to together have told you Young Money was a damn label, not no group. Not everybody. But, but you the only person that not, keeps it on saying that everybody. it was a group. It haven't been everybody. That, who hasn't? We ain't got name no names, but... Everybody that we talked to, for the most part, has said, you, we can go look at the comments. I told video. you, the only way, like, we just going with opinions right now. It's just everybody who's stating their opinion. The only way that I'm going to stand down and say that I'm wrong is if one of the niggas that was in Young Money <laughs> yeah. literally tells me, nah, we wasn't a group. We was a label. That's the only way. Other okay. than that, we just going to be going back and forth with opinions. Don't worry. I'm going to tap in with uh, Lil Chucky. I'm going <laughs> 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 to reach out to Lil Chucky and ask him. But nah, nah let's, let's jump into nah, it, man. What bet. we doing? So, check this out. So, we got first one, we got Jerry Springer versus Mari. R.I.P. Jerry Springer. R.I.P. Jerry Springer. Yeah, which sure. one y'all going with? Mm, that's a good Those two good ass shows. <laughs> that's right a there. good one. Cause, cause, good cause, ass cause Jerry, Jerry really had the fights. He let the fights kind of go let them like get right, Yeah, he let him get so, right on stage. Mm, that's Ain't nothing really get popping on Mari. Yeah, he did. They had that security on deck. They wouldn't let nothing go down. Yeah, they had to chase the motherfuckers down, though. <laughs> he definitely had to chase them down. <laughs> running best <laughs> day, bro. You were not the father. Oh, my God. That bitch, just take off running. Mario was, Mario was fucking them, bro. I used to watch both of them with my girl. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> you said Mari was fucking him. Yes, bro. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I'm still. Bro. What the fucking, hell? He was fucking them, dog. Hell no. Nah. Can't tell me no different. Hell no. Nah. Um, nah. Jerry versus Mari, man. I might go Jerry Springer. <clears throat> might go Jerry. Yeah, just because he kind of had a mixture of the both. Uh, he kind of lists up with a fight. He had some more crazy ones like girl mm-hmm. cheating on a dude. Mm-hmm. Dude, come out as a damn small person. I can't Facts. say the n word. Yeah. Yeah, I'd be like, oh, I'm gonna go with more. You going with more? Just because he, like, and we got the facts right here. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, more was on. Mario out there doing dude. community work. For we got the results right here, and the <laughs> results are in. They gonna grab somebody in the crowd and shit, and get the goddamn envelope. In the case, the five month old, <laughs> five month old Felicia, Jerome, you are not. <laughs> the <five. laughs> You're like, I'll yeah, bitch, I told you, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm like, I know more and know goddamn well this ain't that boy father. He be knowing. Yeah, he, he be, be white as hell. Black them up. Hell yeah, he like, be knowing. what you thinking? You going with Maury? I'm going with Maury. I'm going to go Jerry. I'm going to okay. go Jerry. Spurrier. I bet. I'm going to go Jerry. All right, so number two, we got uh, Bernie Mac versus My Wife and Kids. I'm going My Wife and Kids. My Wife and Kids? Easy. So easy. Yeah. To me, easy. Yeah, My Wife and Kids. Y'all serious? My Wife and Kids was hard. Yeah, bro. I agree with y'all. I agree. I agree. <laughs> my Wife and Kids was hard. I That's agree. an underrated show. People don't really Bernie get Bernie Mac show was good, though. I ain't never really just locked in. The first two seasons was good. The yeah. rest of them was like, ah, Yeah, nah. toward the end, I ain't, yeah. I ain't like it that mm-hmm. much. Yeah. Okay. I wasn't just the biggest fan. All right. Now, this one right wait, here. Wait, before you continue, before wait. you continue. My GOAT, though, comedian mm. stand-up. Bernie Mac. Easily. Yeah. Easy. Easy. Yeah. yeah. It's no question 100%. about it. No question. Yeah. 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 Bernie Mac, that nigga funny as that shit. That nigga funny. R.I.P. Bernie. R.I.P. him, man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, look. This one right here, we got to really, like, you got to think about your question. You got to think about your answer before you say it. Because mm-hmm. I'm still on the fence about this one. Okay. So, we got who wins a versus between Usher and Chris Brown? Hmm. See, I'm going to say this. Uh, cause Chris, like us being me and you personally being big Chris Brown fans, I don't know if you was a big Chris Brown. Hell no. Nah. Okay, well you had to say it like that first yeah, of for all. Real? You had to say it like I that. Went like, uh, but okay. you know, what I'm saying us being big Chris Brown fans, we know a lot of songs that people may not listen to. That's, that's like fire. really good. Mm-hmm. That's not charting. So I feel like that kind of may sway it, but I don't know what you what you think. Going with Usher. Usher got some hits. He Usher does, do got hits. He does, bro. Paper. Signing these papers. What's Hell crazy? No. That's like papers. low on his list. Yeah, that's 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 low on his list. That's a hit. Burn. But that's low. 
That's what I'm saying. I'm burned bro. for sure. Usher got some Confessions shit. Confessions too. You know, Loving this club. He's on my Loving this club. Like, bro, Usher got some shit, man. He got some shit. Chris so I, I, don't know, I don't know if Chris could, like, as far as, like, super big hits could, like, kind of go. You got popping. You got. No, Chris got some shit too, bro. But this, like, but you know, Chris was really blackballed, though, after that Rihanna situation. He was. He was. It depends on what, like, what kind of verses you're talking about. Like, you're talking about better music. Or hit for the hit. ones that's gonna get the biggest reaction in the room, as far as like the verses when they on stage. I think it's I feel like Usher would hit. get more mm-hmm. because a lot of pe- a lot more people know his songs, like as far as the words and stuff, and mm-hmm. then, like it's gonna get a bigger pop because like you got both generations. He was kind of really within the '90s, 2000s, and this era. Like he got hits all throughout. Chris Brown was more so came out what he came out like 2006 2007 mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying and like he been consistent throughout you know but he was blackballed after that yeah after that rihanna stuff he kind of i'm still on the fence about this though bro. i don't know he mm. said mm, i don't know no limit <laughs> yo what she got some shit bro they go my baby you know you know like, i'm not no a fan limit. of that shit but they what? go my baby yeah. got that masterpiece <laughs> no limit Fuck no. <laughs> but, uh, bro, you see what he just did at the Super Bowl, too, man. I'm saying. He, nah, he definitely turned the bro. Super Bowl up for sure. Yeah, that uh, was a good performance. Yeah. Um, I don't say Chris Brown, man. I know you want to. I mean, that's just because, like, I'm a fan of Chris, and you know what I'm saying? Uh, Let us know what y'all think. As far as, like, hit wise, I can't be biased. I probably got to go Usher, though, as far as, like, hit for hit type of thing. So, yeah. I probably go Usher. All right, my boy, give me some. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> just, just Do we go Usher though, bro? Do we go Usher? Because now let's thinking. go. All right, you you name Usher. I'm gonna name a Chris Brown song, or you name one just okay. to kind of counter him. Name a Usher song. Confessions. Popping. Burn. What you got? Me to go? Yeah, you go. Though. All right, uh, shoot, we could go. Uh, no BS. Okay. Um. No, 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 no. I was like, Chris Brown. Don't have to call. Ooh, that's, that's a good, good one. That's right what I, my, my favorite song out of the young boy. I got a uh, good one to rebuttal. Take you down. Mm-hmm. Damn, I'm trying to think of the one off his first album. Nice and slow. You do have nice and slow. Bro, Usher got so many damn hits, bro. You do have nice and slow. But you got to look at me now, Chris Brown. Look at me now. Damn, okay, so if we're going with look at me now, you might as well go ahead and put no limit in there. <laughs> no. Nah, that ain't on the that, same level. That ain't bro. on the same level. I, I, cause I don't even know that song like that. I know it, but like that ain't on the same level as look I at don't. me now. Oh, my God. Niggas know look at me now like every word, even bust the part. Can we can we can we look can we look some songs up? Let's have at it, bro. That's why I was like, I told y'all this question got me on the fence still, bro. Yeah. You gonna go Usher? I'm gonna go Chris Brown. I'm about to say, uh, that one album with uh Confessions and stuff, that was a good album. All too. right, come on, I got I got them now. You got them? Yeah. All right, you go ahead, kick it off. Yeah. <laughs> 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 he, said, he, he said, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, hey, y'all got shit on, yeah. All right, nah, we, I got Run It, nigga. Okay. Love in this club. Okay. I got uh New Flame featuring you, nigga. <laughs> my boo okay 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 uh i got motherfucking um i gotta take you down i already said that climax climax Ooh. that's what i'm talking about <laughs> man <laughs> my name got some this, bro but hold up i got drunk texting i don't know if people gonna get on fine china then nigga okay he uh, said fine china because <laughs> i knew that was like kind of shake <laughs> he said fine china um Ooh, God damn, I'm probably leaning towards Usher as far as the hits. I'm trying to tell you, Usher got some things on here. Give me um, that. <laughs> give, me, give me that, yeah. Uh, uh, it's us, bro. Dive, dive. What the fuck is that? No, <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> Y'all niggas don't know so. Oh, bro, Chris got a lot of song. great songs on here that a lot of people probably don't know. Yeah, a lot of people really don't be knowing. Some great songs on here. Let me, let me look. My, oh, No Guidance featuring the boy, Drizzy. No guidance. Come Deuces. On Deuces. 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 Yeah, Deuces might be like the top one. Kiss, list. Kiss. You Come make, on. Yeah, okay, yeah. See, what the fuck is this shit on my this list? This is my Chris Brown. This is my Chris Brown Oh, you got Brown a playlist? playlist? Oh, I'm just looking on Chris Brown artists on there. You make me wanna? Fuck no. Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> bro. 
Oh, you made me wanna. We yeah. got no. Got, that's a hit. Yeah, that's what you I'm made saying. me wanna lead a one a wit. It start a new. What release, about okay? What man. about this? Ain't this ain't Chris Brown's song, so I can't even say that. That's a hit, bro. What about, what about no air? <laughs> Jordan Sparks, come on now. Best thing. <clears throat> Best thing. Oh, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, cause yeah, I might have to go with us on that one. Well, for right now, yeah, for right now, wall to wall. Come on now, uh, Chris Brown got a lot of shit in his younger day. I could transform you. I could transform. I you. could transform you. <laughs> yeah, I, I probably had to go with too. <laughs> just, just off the of hits type of thing. Chris okay. got stuff though. All right, bet, 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 bet. Let us know in the comments what y'all think about that one. Yeah, that was, that was a controversial one. Right all right, so this one kind of um ties into that previous question a little bit. All right, so what do y'all think was the best era of music? The 2000s or the 2010s? Now, when I drew, when I typed this up, I had to get a few artists from each era to like kind of back up mm-hmm. the argument a little bit. So in the 2000s, you had Beyonce, you had Eminem, Jay-Z, 50, Kanye, Wayne, Luda, Usher, Nelly, DMX, T.I. It was the, the king. It was a few that I drew up, right? But you still have more, of course. 2000s, you got Cole, Drake, Kendrick, Migos, Ross, Future, Thug, Nicki, just to name a few. Um, I probably would have to go. <clears throat> Be careful when y'all answer this shit, too, bro, because I'm going to get mad again if y'all niggas say the wrong thing. What the fuck you going to say? <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah, what y'all say? <laughs> I'm probably gonna go two thousands. See, I was leaning more to two thousands, but now I, I honestly think two thousand ten. You don't, re- you don't honestly think that, bro. I, I know you don't because I you do. think about it. Like the two thousands, they do. set the way for all the two thousand ten. Because if you look at all their music, I ain't gonna say everything, but <clears throat> it's kind of reference to a lot of stuff that was kind of did in the two thousands. As far as but like, like as the two thousand tens, we got a lot of better, better albums from them artists. You know what I'm saying? No, we didn't, bro. Yes, we did. That's like that's like nah. saying that's like saying okay. the 2010 guards is better than okay. the 2000. So guards. for Lil Wayne, he came out you know 90s and then 2000. Does any album in the 2000s is better than the album that he dropped in 2010? I mean 2000 in the 10s, which would be uh, the Carter Four leading on. Better? Nah, not better album, but that's like you know what I'm saying. I don't know. He kind of. Came into his own really at that point. He ain't got no album better than the Carter Four. Hell nah. I'm gonna Depending agree that that's his best album, but Wayne's best songs might have been in the 2000s. Yeah, go DJ. The Carter Go-DJ. Four had was a collection of really good Fire great, man. great songs, man, Fire man. but his the best songs might have came in the 2000s. That's just because we were young, nigga. That's yeah, a, that's another thing I took into too. consideration. Cause we was young when a lot of the 2000 music came out, so we didn't really understand what was going on for real. Like, I was on one of my examples was 50 Cent, Get Rich or Die Trying. We didn't know what that album, we didn't know what the fuck he was talking about back then. Mm-hmm. I know I didn't. I was a little nigga. I didn't know what he was talking about. I was five. Nah, I was, me, I was in the streets. Not the streets. <laughs> nah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now we listen to it, we can understand it. Like, oh, this nigga was really talking, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I knew what T.I. was talking about. Yeah. yeah. The t- 2000, <clears throat> you know, in the 10s, we got better albums. Yeah, I don't know if I agree with that though, Smoke. I don't. Well, that's because T.I. was just, you know. Yeah. I tell you this, bro. Two thousands music age way better. Heck yeah, way better. They did, yeah. I can understand. You visit this when we forty. Yeah, because I still be playing some of T Pain's old shit. I definitely be playing my two thousands <laughs> age way better. I can understand that, but I'm still going. Two thousand tens has some. They had some good shit though. I'm a. I'm gonna go two thousands. <clears throat> I'm still going Even though, you know what I'm saying, my favorite artist in 2010. Exactly. But I got and half of his albums watching all of this. All of that I'm watching. That. No, no, no. Two th- you watching all the 2000s? Yeah. No. And nah, I ain't gonna lie. Niggas was going diamond. Mm-mm. Ain't nobody going diamond back. Mm-mm. Like I don't no. agree with that. Nelly was going diamond. Mm-mm. Eminem was going diamond. Okay, if, we, if, if you bring that into fact, that that's just because, like, Nigga, like, and it was harder to sell music it back was then. Way harder, you had bro. To sell a CD. A CD. You had to go to the store and get that bitch. Yeah, you couldn't just open this. And okay, download. but like in the 2010s, like Lee on, you have more exposure. Exactly. It's easy. So you got more exposure, so that makes a lot more following. 
But it's easy, but I think it's easy to do it that way. Cause all you gotta do is just download a song like we used to do and play that motherfucker. And you could delete that motherfucker as soon as you download it. But you gonna keep it because that motherfucker hard. But you gonna yeah, come on, you so. gonna keep that CD because you pay fourteen ninety nine for that motherfucker too. And then be mad yeah, as right. hell when that shit don't be bumping or that shit get scratched. But that, <laughs> the scratch is funny. But that shit used to be bumping though, bro. But we pay more for music now than we did back then. When Nelly came out with that one album, that oh, was really? like, yeah. Y'all remember that album that Nelly came out with? It was like, it was two albums. It was like, I can't remember, man. It had like the St. Louis little, uh, little arch. Yeah, it was like a. St. Louis? No, 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 no. It was no. like a light a light version, and then it was like a dark version. I don't remember it, bro. I, I like, do. That shit was hard. Your favorite artist in 2002? <laughs> Who that? Bow Wow. <laughs> fuck out of here. <laughs> hey, bro. Hey, 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 hey. I got a question before we even continue this. He said. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm standing on it That too. Bow Wow What'd you say what A legend Yes And music I'm standing on and it And music too. And music No I said he's a legend No <laughs> Come on dog Don't be trying to twist my words man What you what you say he is a I what I literally say he's a legend As far as what though As far as himself Bow Wow Yeah He's a legend bro That's facts nah, He's a legend Mr. 106 He's a legend bro I ain't gonna lie Like Mike Oh my and god And then Bro this nigga was selling out oh, arenas As a young nigga he was Hard like five way. music. I'm trying. I'm trying to get to the bottom line of the music because when we talk, we was talking about music. You talking about music? Yeah. Musically, uh, I wouldn't necessarily say he's a. I don't know though, bro. He might be. So you don't remember when we was kids? He might be. And bro. him and Soulja Boy made the song on Marco shit. Polo. You don't think that shit was hard? He no. know it was. But do I want to call? Do I want to? <laughs> no. Do I want to call him a legend? <laughs> yes, musically. He missed the 106, yeah. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> that means he was the youngest motherfucker signed to a label. Ooh, what the goddamn dude? <laughs> he could have had a 360. Oh, hold up, man. And plus, he is a legend. Globally, I mean, just anything that he... His career, legend-wise. He definitely had movies, a good career. Movies, everything. All about the Benjamins, career. Light Mike, Lottery Ticket. That nigga had it. That nigga had 16 part. number one songs, bro. 16. 16. 16. Oh my God, stand down. That's tough. Name me three of them. In the 2000s, too. Um, what was the Billboard? It was the Billboard 100. Yeah. Okay. One of them was with Omari on. I forgot. Uh, yeah. Bro, that. <laughs> oh, bro, Bible got you. some shit, man. Told you. I don't think he no legend musically, but he definitely had a great career overall, though. Yeah. Y'all niggas keep saying this like Mike shit. Y'all finna piss me off. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, let's, let's, let's move on. Let's move on. So, uh, what was the better movie scene? The lottery ticket rooftop scene or the all about the Benjamins? Quit what scene? Quit what? Quit what? Yeah. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, bro. <laughs> when the camera panned on Mike Epps, when that nigga was like, uh, we was never partners anyway. <laughs> bro, that nigga look hurt for real. That nigga he was, was like, hurt. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good scene, bro. But that lottery ticket rooftop scene is fire. No, Wait, hold on. I'm trying to remember. Quit what? Remember when uh that was when um they had just did the look when uh they they hit them diamonds out cut. Oh, I think a better scene than that is like when they like was in the parking lot. Smell like fish. Nah, it was in the parking lot when he was looking for that wallet. He was like, uh, oh yeah, that like was like sixty million dollars worth of motherfucking lotto tickets, and I'm crazy, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was a that better was, scene. That was a that good was. scene. That was a good scene. That was a good. Well, scene. as far as like what you said, that quit one scene was fire though, man. As far as that scene, I probably go. I was like, damn, ticket, Booker, you ain't have to go. That. <laughs> I'm, I'm we was never partners. <laughs> I'm going with lottery ticket. Yeah, I probably go lottery, lottery ticket. As far as like because that nigga pause, he said, nigga, I'm broke. That's yeah, yeah. I can't eat, nigga. It was crazy, you know. I heard that shit was improvised. Oh, it yeah. was. Yeah. Oh, he, he actually was hungry. Did. Yeah, he was. Because <laughs> not <laughs> what I, I heard. <laughs> real. I heard Bow Wow was late. Yeah, yeah. And he was mad at that shit. Yeah, but he was like, really yeah. mad. He channeled oh, that anger. Yeah, that was a bro. I can't eat, nigga. He probably really broke in real life. He probably <laughs> was hell. Shit. He probably depending on that lottery ticket check. <laughs> it is us, Kev. No, it ain't. It is us. <laughs> that was it, man. That was a good scene. Like, bro. Nose the nose. That's a good scene. That is. <laughs> that, a good yeah, I probably scene, go with bro. that. One, as far as the question is, uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So, what's the better video game, NFL Street or NBA Street? Ooh, now mm-hmm. here we go. Yeah, I'm ready for this. Yeah. One. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Both of them motherfuckers tough. And we got to think back, bro, because like I remember playing the NBA on the GameCube, John. 
I had a GameCube. Mm-hmm. And I had that NFL Street on the PSP, John. Mm-hmm. And in the PlayStation 2. I had them on the That bitch was hard. On the PlayStation. Actually, I think I had it on PlayStation 2. But, uh. The NBA Street was fun. Man, I had. Only NBA Street I had, I had NBA Street Volume 3 with, like, the Man Beastie Davis. Boys. Yeah. Hey, the Beastie, that it, one. That bitch was, was fire, hard. bro. That, that one was hard. Was fire. So, I'm only to thinking point, about that one. To the point where I even started listening to Beastie Boys music because of that shit. <laughs> That's For real. That yeah, shit was yeah. fire. But I played NFL Street 1 and 2. And they had three. three. Yeah, they, they had, had three. three. Well, three with Chad, Chad Johnson. Johnson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I'll probably go street. I'll go street because I played all three of them. Yeah, NFL street, my fault. Yeah. I had I had volume two, volume three, and I had uh, the NBA. The last one what they made was NBA Home Court. Home Court. Uh-huh. Yeah. So I had all of those. Man, I'm going with NBA. NBA? That shit was hard. Hard, that shit bro. was hard. Them game breakers, you throw like three alleys, mm-hmm. go between the legs and tatter right. goal off. <laughs> yes, yeah, I definitely like that, man. I, yeah, I'm going to NFL Street, though. Just Especially the one at homecoming when you can break dance on their ass when that music come on. Yeah, I wish I had that. I ain't played that, play that one. That shit was different. I ain't played that one. <laughs> that I wish I had different. that one. I ain't played that one. Yeah, I'm going to NFL Street, hard. though. All right, so these last two are like um kind of like survival type questions. Ain't no crazy shit, though. Would you rather freeze or burn to death? He's a burner there. Both of us gonna be like pain for a good little second. Is you burn to death, nigga? You gonna feel that <laughs> shit for a second? No, you not. Yes, you yeah, are. Yeah, you gonna cook for you a while. Gonna cook. You cook. Exactly. You're gonna cook. Nah, you said, steak. You said for you put a that second. bitch on. You know, you yeah, put you a steak on the damn minute, grill. Actually. You put a steak on the grill. Uh, so you put a steak on the grill. You flip it after two minutes. The yeah. outside gonna look done. That inside still alive. Yeah. So you're going to be crispy. Yeah. You ain't dead yet. You ain't dead yet. And freezing the same thing. That's I don't tough. know. I, I think just thinking of the two, I might say freeze. I might say freeze, too. Because it might be a little less painful. Yeah. yeah you just go. It's just nothing like you can do, though. Ain't nothing you can do when you're on fire. You know you, but you're going to feel that shit, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm with y'all. Yeah, I'm, I'm screaming. Gonna yeah, I'm with y'all. I'm going with freeze. Yeah, I'm, I'm just like, freeze. damn, bro. Freeze. Like, ain't shit I can do. I'm on fire. Yeah. You mad at motherfucker? Yeah. I'm go, Which one <laughs> you shit ain't over? I'm gonna go freeze. Uh, I'm gonna freeze. All yeah. right, so look, last one. If you're the last nigga on earth, you can only bring three things with you. What y'all bring? I'm gonna let you, let you bring three first. things. Three things. Yeah. yeah. Thing. It could be anything, but you only get three. Uh, so like, okay, like, where am I at? Though, am I in, I'm still out here, or am I on the island? You in wilderness, bro? Wilderness. Okay. Yeah. Wilderness, cause you the last nigga on earth, so it ain't like you should, you know what I'm saying, be in civilization. Yeah, we still got animals. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> just making yeah, it. Nah, I feel yeah. you. I, that was go sway my. Oh, uh, what am I gonna bring? Can't bring no damn phone. You ain't got no service. You ain't got nobody to call. I make a watch videos. So I ain't got nobody to call. <laughs> I can watch videos, but nah, the phone go die and shit. You ain't got no service. Definitely ain't got no service. Uh, can't get nobody no Wi Fi. Can't nobody come hook it up. You <laughs> 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 shit with no phone. <laughs> can't nobody come hook it up. Uh, I don't know. Um, Probably, I definitely probably would like, man, it's going to sound lame in here. I probably have like a spear. Cause I can't have no gun because I'm going to run out of bullets. I could hit a nigga with that spear and I could still pick it up. Okay, okay. So I have me a really good spear. Okay. Uh, mm, I don't know. Probably a really good flashlight. Nigga, <laughs> 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 right, yeah, Because I got to be able to see, man. If you in the woods, you for a big ass spider behind you. Yeah, you know <laughs> it, bro. Snake. I need one of them really, really, really good flashlights. <laughs> uh, to light up a whole city. Yeah. Uh, fourth thing, I had to have like some type of. Uh, I had to have like a like a pet though. <laughs> a pet, pet, a pet some lion. Type of <laughs> yeah, type of companions you can yeah, talk you know to. What I'm saying, yeah, some type of pet. <clears throat> a big one though. That's gonna kill some shit. I smoke. Man, I'll probably have to see. I was gonna say a slingshot. But now I got to think. A fucking slingshot. <laughs> I got to think. You killing them with a bird, nigga. <laughs> I got to think. I got to think. I'll probably get a spear like you said. I don't need no flashlight. I'll just get the little fire starter thing, you know, like the little mm-hmm. shit like that. Fuck that. I'll get that. And damn. Fuck it. 
Bring me some good ass weed and shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I feel that. I feel that. <laughs> Call it a day. Ooh, ooh, <laughs> Call it a day. day. Yeah. What you choosing? Shit. All right, so I'm gonna need um I'm gonna need a dog. I need some type of companion that I can talk to. I was thinking on some I am legend shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if Will Smith ain't had that dog, he probably went crazy. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I say some type of companion, a dog. Uh let me get um I want to say, I wanted to say a gun, but when you said you're going to run out of bullets, that did make a lot of sense, because you will. So, uh, let me get a, um, I'd probably say a spear, too. I was going to say a sharp-ass knife, butcher <laughs> knife, but then, like, you got to get real close to something to even stab it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you might not want to get close to something right. shit out there. Yeah, so might be them bears out there. For real. Mm-hmm. You get a spear, Stabbing and then, uh, shit. He said some good ass weed. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm not saying that though. I gotta stimulate my mind. Nigga, I'm the only one on earth. <laughs> dog is here. Yeah, how I talk to my damn self. Let me get a damn. Um, let me get a. Nah. Motherfucker gonna tear that tent down. A tent? Some type of shelter, bro. Fuck. You can build that shit, though. Yeah, you can. You can. <laughs> For what tool? I might well, say a motherfucking. Tools, um, nah, you can. I don't know, bro. I don't fucking know. Fucking a pot so I can cook some shit. A pot. But yeah. I, feel, I feel like you a hat. No, 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 no. I don't know. Probably we got to think this is on the rock. <laughs> you probably go with your Let us know what y'all would take with y'all. Y'all only had yeah. three things. Three you things. Take. You the last person on earth, too. So keep that. some weed. Definitely. <laughs> some weed. <laughs> some weed. All right, so I got a couple questions before we get up out of here. We ain't got really that much time. So uh, I'm trying to come up with a, a scenario. Not a scenario. A reoccurring segment. That I'm going to try to do, you know what I'm saying? Just crazy scenarios, which I would do. I ain't really got nothing too crazy this week, but I seen some. Actually, no, I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm lying. I got something for y'all. Hey, man. Go on, man. I got something for y'all. Talk All to right. us. You get to keep five and cut five comedy movies. This the 10. I'm going to, you know what I'm saying, tell y'all uh, if y'all forget. So you got The Hangover, the first one. You got Friday. They go with Friday. You got Rush Hour One. Ooh. Step Brothers. Mm. Water Boy. White Chicks. Mm. Tropical Thunder. I don't even know that one. Yeah. I know that one. That's getting out for me. But 21 Jump Street. Mm. This is the end and Dumb and Dumber. So you get the key five, cut five. So if I can go first, the first one I'm cutting is Tropical Thunder. That shit can get the fuck out of here. This is the end for me. You can go Dumb and Dumber. That can go. That's a funny movie, but that ain't really. So that's three. So my three I'm keeping for Show Friday, Rush Hour, Step Brothers, and White Chicks. That's four. So now that fifth slot, uh, that's that's where it gets a little tough. I probably, me personally, I probably have to go Water Boy. So I probably have to go that Hangover and then Twenty One Jump Street. Okay, okay. So I've I've written some stuff down. I'm a uh I'm definitely I'm just wondering what I'm gonna say the ones that I'm keeping. Mm. Friday, mm. Rush Hour, White Chicks, Twenty One Jump Street. Mm. Now the last one becomes tricky because it's out of Step Brothers and Waterboy. I think Step Brothers is more funny. Yeah. So I'm gonna go with Step Brothers, but cutting Waterboy is hard. Yeah. It was uh, it was definitely tough for me because it was out of Twenty One Jump Street and Step. I mean, not Step Brothers. Twenty One Jump Street and Water Boy for me. Mm-hmm. Cause you ever seen Twenty One Jump Street? Yeah, yeah. That shit funny as hell. You taking Water Boy over that? Uh, you taking that over like you know just the um nostalgia bro, of it? Just the fact that Bobby Boucher is yeah, funny that shit is legendary. Yeah, you know? that shit is legendary. But Twenty One Jump Street is funny. <laughs> that though. shit's so funny to me, dog. <laughs> Ice Cube was funny as hell. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Shit, it's funny. Yeah, Rush on. So. That's Step my five. Brothers. White Chicks, Friday, Rush Hour, Step Brothers. Step Brothers is one of the funniest movies mm-hmm. like ever to me. And then Waterboy. Ain't gonna lie, bro. I never seen Dumb and Dumber. I never seen This Is the End. I never seen Dumb and Dumber. I never seen Hangover. This is, Hangover? I never seen it, bro. Oh my God. That's the hangover? craziest one nah. to me. Bro, Hangover. hangover that's a good. I ain't gonna say it's like funny as hell, but it's a good movie for, for sure. Real? I never one, watched it, man. One, two, three ain't really just that good. But one, one and oh two my god, good. that bitch, that bitch. I have to check that's it out. A, that's a little funny movie right there. I have to I, check it out, man. I really didn't think Twenty One Jump Street was funny. 
Word. Man, that bit funny, bro. It was in high school, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You didn't like yeah, it? Yeah, that's the first one, yeah. I didn't think that shit was funny. You seen 22? 22 wasn't funny to me either. Bro, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> 22 <laughs> was funny as shit to I me. Think, I think it was just, mm, it, it wasn't funny. It was funny. corny? As hell. You, it had some I, corny moments. Yeah, I, I thought it was corny. Uh, I thought this at the end was corny as hell. Yeah, I wasn't a fan of that shit at all. Tropic Thunder. It was, it was. Oak. I was saying tropical. It was cool. Oh yeah, no, it's tropical. Yeah, yeah, it's tropical. I was saying tropical. It was cool. It was, it was cool, only because it was of, terrible. I ain't never seen that. I yet. thought it would, you know, when, once I got older, I didn't know that uh, Robert, what was his name? <laughs> Robert Downey Jr. That's his name. Yeah, Robert. I know Robert Downey Jr. played as a black man. That's the movie he played as a black man. Yeah. Lord have mercy. <laughs> so <laughs> so I didn't I didn't know that when I was a kid until I got older and I rewatched it. I was like, okay, that shit not funny. So I'm gonna go with Friday. <laughs> that shit not funny. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't Friday, Rush Hour, Step Brothers, uh-huh. The Water Boy. And yeah, yeah, yeah. White chicks. White chicks for show white on that chicks thing. Gotta stay. I think the three like cements <laughs> that was staying for show was White Chicks Friday and Rush Hour. Yeah, them ain't going nowhere. Yeah, yeah, I don't give a damn what you put it in the damn category yeah. with. You cut them. them ain't going nowhere. You just uncultured. Yeah, them uh, ain't going nowhere. Another one I had, like this is something I also seen on social media. So it said, Would you <laughs> would you send your mama to prison for one year if y'all was going if you was gonna get fifty million dollars, but you can't tell your mama why you send her to prison until she gets out? So she just got to do a year in prison. But when she get out, y'all get 50 mil. I don't think I could. No. I don't think I would I either. Think I, I, <laughs> I, I need my mom for a lot of stuff. Yeah, me and my sisters do. Yeah. So I, I can't. I can't yeah, I wouldn't do, do that. Okay, okay. We mama's boys. Do that. Nah, that's I wouldn't that. do that. You know, moms is priceless, bro. Yeah, nah. yeah. Okay, how much money moms is priceless. Yeah, I couldn't do that. Let's see what else that I have. I got some shit, bro. So like it's a uh, it's quick little game, right? Mm. So it's gonna be guess what NBA player I am. Now, y'all can only ask yes or no questions. You can only ask yes or no. Okay. But I got a player in my mind that I'm thinking of, and so y'all just got to throw questions at me. So right now, think of an NBA player, random. It don't have to be a superstar, just somebody that you think we all know. Okay, so, somebody you can't change the answer neither. Yeah, somebody that we all know. Let me know who you got. Them. Oh, so he thinking of it or you thinking I'm going to let him do it first. That way y'all know how to play. I've seen that before. I know you how to You know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I got you. Oh, bet. We good. <laughs> yeah, I've seen that. All right, come on, let's go. So, look. All right, hold on. Let me think on one real quick. Damn, fuck, nigga. I thought you had one. I had one, but I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> all right, bet. I got it. I got it. All right, let's go. All right. Um, we just go bounce it off each other. I'll go first, and then you go, or whatever. whatever. All right, Diddy. All right, let's see. Oh, shit. <laughs> that was wild. Oh, shit. Was wild. <laughs> yeah, no Diddy, man. God. He Damn. Good, man. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, shit. Sorry, you got that man. quick. Uh, is he I got to make sure. <laughs> got to make sure you all right, I am. Man. Nah, man, we nah, ain't we doing did. that. Yeah, all right. But cool, uh, is he an all-time player? No. Okay. Is he black? Yeah. Uh, current. Yep. Okay. Um, championships. No. Okay. Uh, okay. My first guess <laughs> is Carmelo. Mm-mm. Okay. You said current. Oh yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. I forgot that quick. <laughs> uh, is he in the East or West? Currently in the East. Okay. Mm, Jason Tatum. No. Okay. Yeah, stop guessing, Jimmy. Nigga, I got, I'm trying to guess. <laughs> yeah, man, you got to ask questions. Yeah, I mean, but I, I, I can, Jason Tatum, he all time. Not yet. Yeah, that nigga go. Man, that nigga ain't all time yet, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is this team currently in the playoffs? No. Okay. So let me ask you I mean, I'm a, I feel like I could guess if, I, if I'm if going off your answer, too. All right. Uh, is he a center? Yeah. Okay. He actually is. <laughs> okay. He actually goddamn is. <laughs> okay. Um uh, let's see. Center. <clears throat> okay. So he's in the East. Mm-hmm. It's a center. Right. Okay. Team not in the playoffs. It's team not in the playoffs. Mm-hmm. Uh I think I got it, but I don't want to guess say it. it. <laughs> okay. Ain't Where's no he gonna say no? Well, it's uh, some wrong answers, but like <laughs> I don't know. I don't know his name though. Uh this dude that I'm thinking of, I believe both of y'all know him. So if you can't think of his name, then he might not be it. Okay. I mean, I don't be thinking. I can't. Be I ain't gonna say he's well talking. known, but y'all too probably. Y'all uh, and uh, you East. definitely know him. Nigel Noel. <laughs> Who? 
Nerdless Noel. Oh, nah. fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> he said he definitely knows. So I was like, Shit. fucking funny. Uh, you know, you got a, um, you got some history with him. I say, history with him. Damn, did I play with the nigga? He said, nah, he, play he, he play with him. He play with him. I'm gonna uh, shut the fuck up. Before I give it to damn. Give it to damn. Uh, like, let's see. Let's see. Uh, current. I don't even know who not in the playoffs for. Uh, is he known as a scoring big? No. Okay. Not at all. Okay. Um. Mm. <clears throat> He's not an all-star? No. Okay. Uh, has he ever been an all-star? <laughs> Mm-mm. That nigga's sorry. <laughs> uh, so he's a role player? Yep. Okay. Always has been. Always been a role player. That nigga lying. That nigga's sorry, bro. Uh, on, y'all know this nigga, man. Y'all yeah. just not asking the right questions. I'm trying to think. Uh, has he has he played with an all time great? Yep. Is that all time great LeBron? Nah. Damn, I was so about to say that too. <laughs> nah. I thought it was uh, Udonis has him too. <laughs> he had to leave. <laughs> oh yeah, you said current player. Damn. He um, in the playoffs too. Who in the playoffs? The Heat. Oh yeah, yeah, you sure right? Yeah. Damn, you, you right? Fuck. Mm. Uh, let's see. Let man. me know if y'all give up, man. Nah, 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 nah. I'm going to give it like five more minutes. I see. Yeah, I'm going to give it up. <laughs> uh, I wish my boy Rod was here. Rod, Rod good at guessing yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he would have definitely guessed this one. Yeah, he probably got it quick. And then, you know, everything or everybody. <laughs> but, uh, dang. Man, y'all know this nigga, man. So, he's a role player. So, that means that did he start? Yeah. His whole career? <clears throat> yeah. Oh damn! Okay, so you said he's currently in the East. Mm-hmm. All right, so what teams is not in the playoffs? You got there. You go now. You now you cooking. <laughs> now you cooking. Got the Raptors, uh, the Hornets. Uh, who else is not in there? Come on, smoke! I need some help. Got the man. Raptors, the Hornets. You gonna repeat what I said? No, nah, no, nah, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. <laughs> oh, I'm thinking. I was I'm like, thinking. <laughs> Uh, who else is not in the playoffs in the East? Mm. The Bulls? The Bulls are not in the, I mean, not in the playoffs. Is it Vucevic for the Bulls? Mm-hmm. Okay. He ain't played with no great. Damn yeah, right he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know who all in the playoffs. Uh, I'm going to look at some nah, 18. I'm going to get out to that, 18. Okay, shit. I'm going to waste some more time on it. Uh, I want y'all to go too, I would guess. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah I, I suck at this. We gonna we gonna get better next episode, man. <clears throat> uh, let's see, let's see. What you got? I'm just looking at teams. See who you in the West. I mean, I'm just looking at all teams. Uh, is the Cavs in the playoffs? Mm-hmm. I think I don't know. Uh, is it Grayson Allen? Nah, it ain't Grayson Allen. Okay. Playing the West. Any guard? I say Grayson Allen. Jared Allen. That's what oh. I was thinking of. No. Okay. Man, I don't know, bro. Clint Capella, man. Clint fucking Capella. Reason I said oh, you know because he played with Houston. Yeah, he played with, play with James Harden. Okay. That nigga great. Suck. from Atlanta. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Let me think of one. Let me think of one. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Somebody that you like, you know that. You yeah. Know. yeah. 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 All right. Let's go. I got one. I got one. I, I bet. <laughs> All right. Um. I guard. Go. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. East or west. Uh, East. Okay. East. All-star? Um, no. Never no? been one. Never? Mm-hmm. Current NBA player? Yes. Okay. <laughs> right. I, my shit gonna be quick. In the playoffs? <laughs> Are they in the playoffs? No. Right. All-star? No, he just asked that. Oh, he said he ended up in the all-star. All-star. Okay. Uh, RJ Barrett? Uh, no. He's all a right. guard? Mm-hmm. He's Not in, in the playoffs. He's in the West? In the East. In the East? Mm-hmm. Uh... Trey Love. Who? Who? Uh, what the fuck is that nigga? Trey Young. Oh, no. Nah. Oh, man. <laughs> Young been an all-star. Oh, man. Yeah, he's an all-star. Okay. This person has never been an all-star. I don't think. Is he a veteran? Uh, You can look at that. Yeah, now, yeah, I guess. He entered that veteran stage. All right. Jordan Poole? No. All right. 
All right. Uh, I'm going to give y'all till 15. Okay. Um, Did he play in college? Um, Yes, but I don't know what college he went to. Okay. You said his team is in the playoffs? Or ain't in the playoffs? Is it? They ain't in the playoffs. Okay. 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 All right. All right. All right. Guard. He starts? Yes. yes. Kobe White? No. Motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> Zach Levine? No. <laughs> Damn, I thought I had it. <laughs> In the East? Yes. Michael Bridges? No. Jordan Poole? He already said that. No. Oh, damn. <laughs> yeah, I got one, guys. Nah, Kate ain't no vet. Like, he's starting to enter that vet stage. Like, he ain't just a vet yet. Melo? But... No, Melo been an all-star. Yeah, yeah Melo yeah. been an all-star. Terry Rozier with the Heat. He in the playoffs. Shit. Yeah, we got a minute left. We got him. We got him stumped, guys. Shit. Yeah, this is a hard game. In the East? Yeah. Currently. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> you okay. ever played with all time great? Uh no. Yeah, no. Nah. He has played with an all star though. I'll give you that. Dennis Smith Jr. Mm-mm. Nah. Light skin. Uh good question. No. But he's not dark either. He's like Levine. And I got 26, 27 seconds. And it's not DeMar because he was been an all-star. Yep, yep. Damn. I hope this person Bro, do we been. know this nigga? Yeah, absolutely. I hope he, he, he if he fuck around and been an all-star, I'm going to be mad. I don't think he has been, though. Shit. Cam Thomas? No. I'm out, bro. I ain't smoking this. It is... DeJounte Murray. He has been an all-star. He has? Yeah, man. When? He was like his last year in San Antonio. He, he was? was an all-star. Oh, well. Damn, Damn cuz. <laughs> well, <laughs> he ain't in the playoffs, though, so you're right. And he not dark skin. <laughs> and he, he, play, not he played with an all-star, which is Trey Young. Okay. Okay. Like, I, ain't, I ain't know he was an all-star. That's my, bad. my bad. Okay. You got one smoke? Sure, sure. I'll do. All right, we got. Let's try to. I guess three minutes on this one. Okay. I'm All right. On. Uh. Big man? No. Is he in the playoffs? No. Yeah? Mm-mm. No? Nope. Okay. Any nigga that's in um, the uh, is he is his number lower than 20? Yes. And he's a guard? Yes. So, like, guard, guard. Not small forward or okay. guard. Is he currently playing the Western Conference? No, he plays in the East. Okay. Uh, he's in the playoffs? No. No. A guard. Mm-hmm. Jordan Poole. No. K. Cunningham. No. Uh, Hill Bridges. No. Trey I want to say Cam Thomas, but I know you just said it, so nah. Trey Young? Mm. Trey Young? No. R.J. Barrett? Mm-mm. Uh, Dennis Schroeder. Bro, who the f- Dennis Schroeder? Mm-mm. Who the fuck played point guard for the Raptors? Then, uh, <laughs> uh, oh, who played for the Raptors? Emmanuel Quickly. Nope. Kobe uh, White? Ooh, no. <laughs> He's a no. <laughs> Zach, I had that shit. Zach Levine? <laughs> no. Okay, hold on. Let's ask some more questions. Okay, has he been an all-star before? Yes. Okay. All right. Mellow Ball? No. Uh, he has been an all-star before. Ain't nobody getting none okay. of these. Okay. Has he played in the Western Conference before? Nope. All right. Is he a veteran? Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. You ain't finna beat me, motherfucker. You finna beat me. All right. Um, I ain't got nothing. Is he a starter? You could you could say that. Does he start currently? Yes or no, nigga. <laughs> did he, he start this year? Like, is he a consistent starter? When he did play, he did start. Oh, so, he, so he's hurt. He was hurt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so he was hurt. <laughs> That's a yes or no question. You can answer that. Yeah. Okay. okay. So he is current and he was hurt. All right. <laughs> all right. All right. We're getting that somewhere. There's the list now, right we're getting, there. We're getting somewhere. Who the, who the fuck was hurt? In the East and not in the playoffs. That's a guard that has been an all star. And it's not LaMelo. And it's not LaMelo. Nobody on the Bulls. DeMar DeRozan? No. Okay. And he's a veteran. So let me think. Uh, Nobody on the Hawks. Let me think. Let me, let me. Trey Young wasn't hurt. Oh, I know who it is. No, no, it's not him. 
Tyrese Halliburton. No. Man. Yeah, he in the playoffs too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Damn, know. bro. Who else played guard for the Wizards? I don't know. Uh Tyrese Jones? No. We know this nigga, right? Yes. He was uh, he was gonna be one of the phenoms. Gonna be one of the phenoms. Okay, 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 okay. Uh shit, he was supposed to be one of them phenoms. But he a vet though, so it had to be like one of them early phenoms. Dennis No Jr.? No. I thought you had it, boy, but he <laughs> ain't been no all star. Oh yeah. Uh shit. In the damn in the east. I wish we had a live chat. <laughs> so I, I know, right? Chat. In the east is crazy. Bro, while y'all watching this in the comments, let us know y'all's guesses too, because I don't know this shit. They gonna end up they gonna end up seeing the damn answer. Damn. He's been an all star. Three he times. Currently playing the East. Yes. He's been an all star three times. Uh-huh. Darius Garland? No. Donovan Mitchell. No. They in the playoffs, fam. I'm just naming niggas at I know. this point. <laughs> Who the fuck played p- oh. Mm, was it Tyrese Maxey? Mm-mm. Yeah. Yo, who the fuck else play? Bro, ain't nobody else in the Wizards. damn East. He's been an all-star three times. Mm-hmm. How do we not know this, Ant? I don't know. I don't know sports no more, I guess. Yeah, I, I stand down, bro. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Who is it, man? <laughs> it's Ben Simmons. Ben fucking Simmons. <laughs> you get a trick Damn. You get a fucking trick right here. Because he was, is a guard. He was injured. <laughs> God damn when he trigger. played, he started. He is a guard. Ben Simmons. I got a couple, damn. couple more questions real quick. That was a good one. That definitely was a good one because I couldn't think of that big sorry mother. Uh, well, I might say this question for another episode, but um, what, y'all, what y'all predictions is for the fight, man? Fight night this tonight. Uh, Devin Haney versus Ryan Garcia. It can't be for the belt because Ryan has overweight. You know what I'm saying? He missed weight, so he can't fight for the belt. But he still can, you know, go out there and fight. And, you know, so mm-hmm. who y'all got? Devin, Ryan. I'm got, sure. I got Devin fifth round. Yeah, Devin I got I got round. Devin knockout. I ain't Devin, know, I got both round. knockouts? Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't think Ryan lasting with Devin, bro. I ain't going to lie to you. Yeah, Especially the type of time Ryan on right now. Like, he don't seem, he not acting the same. He, you know, he kind of acting like right now to me. He acting like how Connor did when Connor was just drunk and he was just eye his bite when he fought Khabib, like how he was just the antics he was doing. It mm-hmm. wasn't to this extent with Ryan, cause Ryan on some next level shit. But I just feel like that's what Ryan trying to do. Like he trying to mm-hmm. sell the fight. And I feel like when he loses, his excuse is gonna be something with his mental. Yeah, but I, I got Ryan too. I don't know uh, if I'm gonna say knockout. I'm gonna say like you mean Devin. Oh, yeah, I said right, my fault, my fault, my fault, my fault. Uh, Devin, y'all got Devin like, mm, I'm gonna say like fifth round. I'm gonna say like ninth. Yeah, I was like ninth, tenth. I'm gonna say fifth. fifth I'm gonna give Ryan a fighting crazy. chance. He'll get him out of there early. Ryan got a punch chance. Ryan might go out. There. Devin go out there acting <laughs> crazy. Out there early. Bro, we could be absolutely wrong. Yeah, Devin go out there acting crazy. Hey, I'm, hey, I'm calling it right now. I ain't seen if Ryan. Devin go out there and don't act disciplined like he normally do. Yeah. Ryan might catch him. Yeah. I don't see. I don't see. Um, I've never seen Ryan straight up outbox somebody. He beat people. He yeah. like catch them. Yeah. Yes. with a good shot. Yeah. As far as outboxing a nigga for multiple rounds, I've never seen him do that. Yeah, he ain't doing that with Devin. Cause mm-hmm. Especially after the last fight, Bro, Devin was, was so sharp. Yeah, Devin looked real, real good against Ray. So too sharp. Uh, I don't. I don't see Ryan. Being I don't think him. Ryan. He definitely ain't outboxing. He just gonna have to try to go for a knockout. And I think that's probably like I don't know why, but like, well, I understand why Ryan got a fifty-five uh, split, like the purse. Mm. Ryan get fifty-five, Devin get forty-five. Damn. Yeah, but I mean, shit, <laughs> it kind of makes sense because Ryan's numbers with the tank fight fluctuate way higher than any fight that Devin ever had. Mm, yeah. So, like, I understood that. Uh, I just don't see Ryan beating him though in a fight. I don't see it. I don't, I don't see, it. see it neither, but definitely nah. it could happen. But I don't see it. Yeah, nah. I got Devin though. Devin out here promising knockouts, and Devin ain't never knock out nobody. Nah, nah. At he's least more of a, a strategic fighter. Yeah, he's a technician. Yeah. And like with Ryan not making weight, bro. I seen one of his comments. He said like he didn't come. He didn't accept this fight to make weight and shit. He accepted it to win the fight mm-hmm. because you know when he fought Tank, his. Uh, thing was like he was drained, you know, that rehydration clause, and then he had to be 135. 
I understand that shit because I'd have been drained too. Yeah. But like he said, that's why he came into this one not making weight because he want to be strong to win the fight. I understand it, but like it depends. Like you got different fighters that fight for the big money and then they fight for the belts. Yeah. I don't think Ryan one of them that want the belts. Nah, him or Tank. They just yeah, want they don't want no nah. belts. They just want the big pay per views. Yeah. Which so, I understand it. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's what Mayweather did. Yeah, it's a lot of money out there. But, Hell yeah. But he can't he can he can't sell fights like Mayweather. He can't. That's what I'll be thinking. He can't. He can't sell he fights. Trying, like but he he trying, but he trying to, but it ain't working. I mean, yeah. I guess it is, because you know, people gonna watch it. Yeah, watch just because show. of the shit he been talking. So I mean, I sell him the fight. I just think he going about it yeah. wrong, okay. man. Put it yeah. like that, yeah. I don't yeah. know if the nigga focused either. I don't think he no. focused either. Like but, you gotta be locked in if you go like Because I've been seeing like the little uh videos they be having. And then boy, like Ryan be saying some crazy shit. Yeah. And Devin be like, something wrong with this motherfucker. Yeah, something like, Oh, yeah, because, like, <laughs> niggas didn't been around him normally, bro. and that's not how he normally act. Yeah, no, nah, it's, it's like, not. damn, bro. Like, that's not how he normally act, like, man. So we all agree Devin go in the fight. It's just, yeah. You got 100%. fifth round. We kind of agreed on ninth. I got ninth, ten type of thing. Uh, we going to see tonight. Uh, I got something I want to talk to y'all about real quick, man, before we wrap up. Come on with it. Yeah, let us know what. Uh, Fight gonna be over by the time y'all see this, but someone talk to y'all about man. Y'all saw the um USA roster that came out. Yeah, yeah, with the NBA. Yeah, uh-huh. how y'all feel about that, bro? Cause I don't like it. I don't like it either. I don't like. Only it, thing I don't like is uh, Jalen Brunson should have been on there. There's a lot. It's a few Hell people. No, Jalen Brunson. It's a few people that should have been on there more than the niggas that's on there. So, uh, a couple Brunson of them definitely should have been. Jalen Brunson is one of them. Kyrie is Kyrie one. Kyrie was, yeah, I was going to say Kyrie. Damian Lillard is another on one. There. Nah, I ain't going to lie. Dame, Dame ass is fucked this whole season. He, he, he shouldn't have been on In national basketball, though? Nah, I wouldn't want Dame on there. In the national basketball. Fuck no. Look, you got to understand something, bro. <laughs> well, like. Step your game up, nigga. Nigga. In, like, 92 Dream Team. And then in 2008 and 2012, they just got the best collection of talent from the NBA. Mm-hmm. And went and played. You got some people that you know were had had to sacrifice, like somebody like um, somebody like James Harden at the time in 2012. Mm-hmm. You know he had just got to Houston and shit. He was really like that nigga in Houston. You know what I'm saying? He had to sacrifice. He came off the bench. You know what I'm saying? It's now I feel like they're trying to build a team rather than getting the best collection of talent. They're trying to build a team. I don't you got can't to. tell me Drew Holiday should be on that roster, bro. But you got to though, cause these these other countries has got I, teams. I understand it, but I don't like names. It. Ain't gonna do it. Only reason, no, yes, it will. No, it won't. Listen, check this yeah. out, bro. Cause I seen Gil talking about this, bro. So like, you got Steph on the team, right? You take Steph out. Who gonna replace Steph? Your backup point guard is Tyrese and Drew. They not gonna be able to give you Steph shit. Not saying that you need Steph shit, but like that's you take Steph out and put Kyrie in there. Come on, bro. Bro, you got to think like Come too. on, man. Bro, you take Kyrie out. One of the other five got to be there. Devin Booker's there. So that's, that's my point. So which which guard y'all taking off? I mean, Drew get the fuck. Well, Drew probably Tyrese Halliburton but probably Drew's, could get the fuck. Y'all know what Drew there for, for defense. Ain't no defense really on that team. Okay. Yes, it is, bro. Who? You got AD. You got LeBron. Guards. You got Ant. Ant. Okay, I forgot about him. <laughs> I forgot about him. Steph Anthony. ain't D'ing no nigga up like that for real, pause. But, like, he not playing no defense like that for real. I forgot about Anthony Edwards. But, but Drew, come on, man. Like, he wasting – I ain't going to say he wasting a slot because I like Drew. Drew is very fucking cold. But you talking about Team USA, in my, like, my perspective of this shit, Drew got to Drew gotta go, bro. But mm-hmm. I, I got to bring lie. Kyrie with me, dog. I ain't going to lie. And I don't like how they, like, just, like – I'm giving that spot to Jalen Brunson. You know what I'm saying? Like back in the day, you used to have to like try Jaylen out. Jalen Brunson too, bro. I'm, you know? I'm, I'm giving that spot to Jalen Brunson. Yeah, back in the day, you had to go to that camp. Yeah, and you had really to go put to on the camp and like try. Yeah, turn your spot. I don't like how they just like picked them. Like, okay, you can do it. It's like some you Avengers shit. This. Honestly, Kawhi can you get can the fuck this. too. Kawhi yeah. definitely could go. Because I ain't no telling if he even gonna be healthy to play. Mm-mm. Yeah, you wasting a slot with this nigga, man. But you know what I'm saying? You know, I mean, I'm not wishing injury on the brother. Hope he stays, you know, injury free, but. He might fuck around getting injured in the playoffs. You know how Kawhi is, so Kyrie still could have a slot. Jalen Brunson, because all these niggas can mess around and, you know what I'm saying, somebody can get hurt. But I feel what y'all saying. I just think if we're going to take Drew out, I'm putting Jalen Brunson in there because Jalen Brunson's season this year is second team NBA worthy, third NBA. Kyrie's is not. Kyrie definitely played great. He played good. I understand, but bro. But he ain't Jalen Brunson I this year. I promise I understand you. I promise I understand you. 
the different dynamic is like it's international basketball. It's a different game for real. That's what Kyrie do, man. Kyrie Why the fuck is Joel Embiid on them? international guards can't fuck with Kyrie, dog. I don't know. Because that's my whole thing. USA ain't got no bigs. on them. USA ain't got no bigs. That nigga ain't even from USA, though. He's not from USA. He's from France. We ain't got no bigs. That's not his problem, that's though. Not our, yeah. What you mean it's not our problem? We need that for them yeah, bigs. That's why we got Bam. I understand. Look, they're oh, not as good as Embiid. On, I understand they're not as good, but Bam, I mean, Embiid is not from here. He I need mean, to play with his home country. Man. I understand, though, this year. If they going to let it slide, hell, I'm you team USA. I'm taking them, too. I'm about to say, bro, you ain't going to take Joel B. Hell, yeah, I'm going to take Bam on goddamn Jokic. Somebody got to deal with Jokic over there in fucking uh, whoever, Serbia. Yeah, whoever his partners is. And then you got Rudy and Wimbyama. They going to be on the same team. Ooh. Rudy, Wimbyama, and Joel B probably would have run something if they would have played. But they look, luckily, we got Joel. That don't lie, fam. That would have been crazy. Kawhi can get the fuck. I might fuck around and take John Morant. They ja. not gonna take him, but I would. Ja hurt though. Ja hurt. He is hurt. He is hurt. <laughs> he is hurt. But I just don't like that roster. Y'all let bro. us know what y'all think. Who should who should be in? Who shouldn't be? I I agree though. I think Kyrie should be in there. Hell yeah, it's not yeah. my boy. But I mean, Kyrie gonna get snubbed though. I mean, y'all everybody know who really just knows what's going on. Know why Kyrie snubbed? Yeah, yeah. But. All right, what well, I think that's gonna do it for <laughs> do it for this episode. We had a lot of oh, shit, I'm gonna drop my mic. A lot of great content, man. Uh, y'all make sure y'all like, comment who y'all think or y'all answers of the questions that we had. Please, uh, y'all subscribe. You know what I'm saying? We definitely appreciate, especially from the bottom of my heart. Pretty sure it's the same for my brothers over here. Absolutely. You know, uh, subscribe, Absolutely. share. It's the all in one, man. You know we coming back. I don't know when, but we coming back soon, man. We'll be back, man. Yeah. We out. Appreciate it. We out of here. That's, that no Diddy stuff was crazy. <laughs>